by jasmine flower that symbolizes as life and beauty. Jasmine flower also symbolizes goodness, modesty and simplicity in line with our business which is based on the concept of traditional clothing. For our business, the location selected was at Petani Jaya Selangor. This location was chosen because it is one of the most potential location to start a business. With a great population factor along with ease of access this location will make a great start up for our business. For more information, our business has created a website accessible to anyone all over the world at www.putikbaimlati.com.ny Our management team consists of 6 people starting from Chief Executive Officer Nurul Shafinas binti Muhammad Azli and move to General Manager Fatin Afifa binti Muhammad Arif Nor Amira Shamimi binti Nurizan as Administration Manager Nor Shukratul Husna binti Abu Bakar as Marketing Manager Nor Najihah binti Roshakimi as Operational Manager and Nor Jessica binti Jekesi as Financial Manager Our business vision is always competitive, efficient and committed to continuous improvement to be more inclusive, efficient and skilled service Other than that, Boutique by Melati also create a mission to become a wide supplier of Malay traditional clothes in Malaysia by expanding the business into a wider market as well as competing with other local brands. First problem with our business solve. While it's a good idea to alteration make your garments fit your current providing comfort is of movement and above all a faltery finish. Tailoring does not have to be a luxury reserve for only former and business wear and we believe there does not need to be a special occasion in order for you to want to look and feel special. This is why it's important to go with boutique by Melati. First problem is our men are not examined by experts who pay close attention to every last detail. The solution is quality material are used but when it comes to custom made apparel, the situation is very different. Precision is a value by custom tailors. They may immediately adapt and keep an eye out for irregularities. They stick to require stitch count per inch which maintain the clothes strong. Second problem is not stylish and outdated fashion. The solution is you can highlight your personal style. There is only so much of you that ready to wear can capture. However, wearing custom made apparel enable you to express your uniqueness more. There are producers who deal with a variety of feature and design possibilities in addition to various material. There is a lot of teamwork and you may have an impact on the result. You can use your creativity. Next, non-durable fabric. The solution is cloth last longer. You want to be a wise shopper in this world of flimsy things driven by consumption. To prevent being caught off guard by the price, plan ahead a little bit. You then see why purchasing personalized apparel is a fantasy long-term investment. There are less issues to deal with in the future thanks to the material utilized and general quality. That's all for me. Thank you.
Let's take a look for the competition analysis of Boutique by Melati. There are many existing competitors in the market that we have decided to enter such as Inhana, Kurung Lab and Horabel. For the first competitors of our business which is Inhana, it is one of the biggest traditional and modest wear brands in Malaysia with specialty in baju kurung, kebaya and tunic. This business was founded in 2013 by Intan Farhana and her husband during the time when Facebook and Instagram became became popular platforms for promoting business. In Hana believed that every woman should look presentable, neat and clean for them to feel beautiful and confident. The strength of this business is that it provides trendy designs and colors and also use high quality materials for the products. But the downside is that the sales price charge is quite, is quite pricey for certain people who are can afford to buy it. The second competitor of our business is Kurung Lab. Kurung Lab is a business that focuses on selling clothes which is more about selling baju kurung. The strength of the business is to provide a variety of design options, the use of high quality materials for the products and also often hold sales promotion that can attract customers. However, their weakness is the price given are still quite pricey even at the promotional price. The latest competitors of our business which is Horabel. Horabel is a Muslim clothing business that has a minimal modern design for each of the clothes and is in line with the passage of time. The advantage of their business is they sell their clothes at a reasonable price which is very affordable for a set of clothes. In addition, they sell clothes that meet the latest design criteria and comply with Sharia. Apart from that, Horabel is active on social media accounts such as on the company's Facebook and Instagram page. The weakness for the business is that it is only sold online and this is not friendly to customers who do not have online transactions to buy their products. This indirectly will, will open up a limited relationship with their customers. Next, the target market of our business is focused on three, namely gender, geography, and the last one, preference and style. Firstly, the target customer for our company is based on gender, where we choose women as the main target for our business. Our product that consists of baju kurung pahang, baju kebaya, and baju kurung modern. The second one is in terms of geography. The resident and people around our location of business are also the target market for our business as the boot boutiques around the location do not have many traditional boutiques. The third one is preference and style. Based on current trends and time, many women choose to follow the minimalist trend where the products they choose and want to be simpler and look soft. For example, by using pastel colors and plain clothes. Market size is a total population that is expected to have potential and efficiency power to purchase our products as well as the potential amounts of money we might be able to generate for some reason. It is compulsory to costly and comprehend market size because it helps entrepreneurs and organizations to expect how much profit they will earn from their business. Besides that, it also helps to facilitate the investment decisions making process to illustrate to assume that they are a about 5% of our target market and the average product price in the market is about 50 ringgit per unit. As we know, the estimated population in the business area is 30,996 pupils. Thus, the market size in is equal to 1,549,800 ringgit. As for the market share, we estimated the market share of Putik by Melati after enter the market will be 5% and will keep increased to 10% and 12.5% in the next year respectively. Moving on to the marketing strategy which refers to the finding innovative ways to make customers meet and gratify their wants. It also refers to the flow of the process that helps our business focus on our business plans so we can achieve our marketing goals which is to provide our target customer with a satisfying experience for every purchase of products from us. In order to provide the best satisfaction to our target customers, we follow the four pieces marketing strategy which includes product strategy, place strategy, promotion strategy and also pricing strategy. 
first and foremost is product strategy which we are taking into account about of the product features and also the materials that are used in producing our baju kuro. We expand the scope of the design for this baju kuro product to various features and types. Among them are baju kuro pahang, baju kebaya and baju kuro modern and also provide various design of clothes with pastel colors and various sizes to give satisfaction and meet the taste of customers. In addition, in order to maintain the quality of our products, our business use high quality materials for making the clothes such as using Italian common crepe made from wool, silk and other synthetic. The materials being used are to ensure that our products are comfortable and cool to wear and most importantly easy to iron. Selangor. Based on the statistics that show the high number of residences there and high potential of sales become a reason for us to choose this location. It is also influenced by the number of visitors in the area as well as other facilities provided. Among them are parking facilities and public toilets for the customers, rows of shops that sell equipment to be styled with our clothes in our boutique, such as hijab shops and others, also become affected. Therefore, this chosen location is very strategic to open a business and able to attract the interest of existing customers who shop in the area. Other than that, the price we determine on our products also play an important role for the success of our business. We prioritize our customers' needs which is a quality clothes with an average price. Following to the current trends such as bright meets, school event and others that require women to buy a tradition clothes with the same theme more often, influence us to set an average price with a quality product. It also considered with the cost used to produce the product where we take a decision to only set 50 ringgit for each of our products. Besides that, we also emphasize the promotion of our boutique where we choose to follow the track of time. Social media has become a successful medium for our business to become wide and known by the people. Therefore, our marketing team decided to open an account for our boutique in Facebook, Instagram and TikTok that had millions of users that potential to be our customers. We believe that a great content and marketing idea used in social media can increase our sales and lead to the growth of our business. On the other hand, we also not leave the traditional method on promotion where we offer a loyalty card to our customer and making sales during celebration such as National Malaysia Day, Aid and others. Those method used in order to influence the customer to repeat buying our products on next time. It also influences the customer to buy more during sales at our boutique. Next, besides become a successful business in this industry, we also want to open an opportunity to other people by offering a personal shopper, dropships and agent services for our boutique. It will enhance the sales of our products and also will be easier to customer that cannot reach to our boutique physically. Financial statements are used to prove what the business owns and owes. It is a summary of the assets and liabilities and equity of a business at a specific point of period. Additionally, it provides a picture of the financial solvency and risk-bearing ability of the business duty by Melati. Taking business refer, the balance sheet as one of the indicators to ensure the financial performance in a stable position and as a tool in making decision and to evaluate the business to make it goes. The total assets are balanced with the total equity and liability which is the first years RM42074518, year 2 RM9425493 and year 3 is RM1627718.
Beside me is a start-up course for Buti by Melati. This table shows some of the basic information that will commonly be used in our start-up business. Marketing expenses will cost RM39983. Administrative expenses RM28685. And operating expenses RM332450. Next, this table shows the project implementation schedule for Buti by Melati. This document defines and schedules the major phase of project work being carried out to fulfill the desired project objective and achieve the expected deliver deliverable. The total project implementation cost is RM401118. The table shows the cash flow performance statement for Booty by Melati for the planning period of three years. It indicates the probable amount of cash inflows and outflows expected during the periods. The cash uh, surplus for year one is RM4186067545. Year two is RM9409358. And lastly, Year 3 is RM1626561999. The surplus will be used to pay off our debts. Tips. Income statements are used to determine if the business accumulated profit or loss. To generate the profit, the revenue of the business must exceed the expenses amount. Looking at the income statement, the boutique wishes made a profit from its first year of operation and continue to grow over the next two years in our project trend. The boutique's income statement showed the prediction of having a profit at the end of each year will with the accumulated net profit of RM1618849880 through this projection we can identify strategies to keep the business always in a profitable position the growth of financial planning document for Ruti by Melati is a significant step which entails figuring the figuring out the project's overall cost, choosing a funding source and putting a financial projection in the form of pro forma statement that contains the cash flow, income statement and balance sheet. Once prepared, this financial plan will assist us in ensuring the start, uh, starting uh, capital is adequate, controlling and guarantee that the flow of money is in the appropriate position and creating a budget for the upcoming fiscal year. Project management are used as a signal post for a project start or end date external review or input. Budget check, submission of major available uh, example. A milestone is a reference point that mark a significant event or a branching decision project within a project. So here a project milestone of boutique by Melati, which are activity and the deadline. So First is in corruption of business is in June 2020. An application for permits and license in July until September 2022. Searching of permits October until November 2022. Renovation of permits in December 2022 until January 2023. Procurement of machine and raw material in February 2023. Requirement of labor match, uh, labor in March 2023, installation of machine in April 2023, and uh, starting operation in May 2023. In conclusion, the business that is conducted has the opportunity to open. This is because it was found that there is a profit in the business being conducted. Through carefully planning and strategy, we are confident that this plan business can progress and grow. The management of the business is confident that our business can generate total sales to capture market share in the industry and meet its high sale expectation. Our opinion is for those who want to start a business, the process of first analyzing the product that they want to market is also very important to identify whether it is a product of desire or need and see in advance the state of the market demand for the product.